Hey guys, Gala Camera 23 back again with another video. Now we're slap, right slap bang in the middle of E3, the Entertainment and oh, sorry, Electronic Entertainment Expo. And uh, at this moment in time, uh, Xbox, uh, so, yeah, Xbox One has been uh, revealed, uh, PS4 has been revealed, and uh, quite a few games for each platform. And I just thought I'd kind of uh, kind of weigh in, give my opinions on the whole kind of console wars and the different consoles and stuff. So first of all I'll start I'll start by saying that I was when I first started gaming I was a Sony guy. I had a well my family had a PS1 and then I had a PS2 like three times after selling them and buying them again. And I never owned a PS3. I opted for the Xbox 360 because basically I liked the games for it more. It had me kind of kind of have more accessibility, like the games were kind of different types of games, kind of the, the exclusive were better for the Xbox 360 in my opinion than the PS3. Also I couldn't afford a PS3, so I was a 360, I still am a 360, well it's a slim one now, uh, my old one had the uh, Red Ring of Death. But I was a 360 guy for, well I still am for now, for a, f a fair few years. I don't game as much the kind of in the past, well since I started YouTube to be quite honest, I just don't really kind of have the, I mean there aren't as many games now that I really enjoy playing, uh, kind of the only really games I go back to now are kind of like Rock Band and Guitar Hero and stuff, but I'm a 360 guy kind of through and through, and this generation, or well, sorry the next generation, I don't know if that's fourth generation, I'm not quite sure, so we've got Xbox One and PS4, uh, first of all, I'll say Xbox One is dead in the water already. Basically, there were rumours about the fact that it would have, uh, you know, kind of used games would be uh, kind of prohibited. You wouldn't be able to kind of buy uh, second-hand games and play them on the Xbox One. And also something about, I think, DRM, which I'm not 100% sure what that actually means, so I can't really go into it. But basically, the, so the Xbox One is dead in the water already. Those things... Um, uh, came true and the um, the Microsoft conference and they're they're done they are well I'll start uh, I've gone to uh, the PS4 was announced I think two days ago from me filming this video depends when you upload it and they ba they basically took a massive shit on Microsoft and it was absolutely glorious I watched the whole press conference and it was it was just amazing the amount of kind of Games. I don't know how many of these games are going to be exclusive to PS4. I showed them PS3 ones, which I haven't actually got. I don't know whether I'm going to uh, buy a kind of PS3 because I don't know whether the PS4 is backwards compatible with uh, with all the other uh, kind of PS3, PS2, and PS1. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, I still have uh, kind of exclusives for the PS3 to bring out while kind of the PS4 is you know coming to life. Yeah, so I was saying that basically, literally, they took. What Microsoft said they were going to do with the Xbox One, and said that they weren't going to do this. I mean, it's basically used like the threat, the same terminology. <laughs> it, was, it was absolutely glorious. I was, I was cheering of how kind of you know, deprecating to uh, to Xbox One it is. It's just basically they were just saying that you know, also with the Xbox One, apparently you need to um, establish an, an online connection every twenty four hours. Which I don't, I don't, I, there's no, I don't quite understand what the reasoning is for any of this. I mean, what is the big deal about having pre-owned games? What is the big deal about lending games to your games game, lending games to your friends? What is the big deal about about all of this stuff? I mean, there's no reason for them to do this. Yet they do this. And they don't expect any kind of backlash from this. They don't expect uh, kind of 360 gamers to jump ship to PS4, which I'm gonna do personally. I'm aiming to buy PS4, I don't know Stay in my job. I don't know how, how long I'm going to stay in my job for. So I don't know how, kind of how long I'll be able to save up for it. But I am planning to get a PS4, and I'm just going to stay the hell away from Xbox One. I mean, it. I mean, the, all the announcements of Xbox One have kind of made me ashamed to own a Microsoft product. No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not that strong. But they've just taken a giant misstep with this Xbox One. I mean, Microsoft. They just don't know what they're doing anymore. They don't know what gamers want, they don't know what gamers need, they don't know what gamers expect, they just basically do what they want to do and if people don't like it they can they can fuck off basically which is t 
totally ridiculous. With the PS4, you can lend games to your friends, you can uh, play pre-owned games. Again, I don't know how the backwards compatibility is, but I've heard that it isn't, compa isn't backwards compatible, so I'm not sure. I might buy PS3 first and then be a buy PS4 kind of further down the line. But the games for the PS4 look great, the graphics look great, all the new game engines look great, all the new IPs look great, well most of them anyway. And also kind of returning ones, and they're doing a lot with um, kind of indie games, and also releasing um, an HD remake of Abe's Odyssey I think. Uh, Abe's Odyssey New and Tasty Edition, which I'm really excited about. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a, um, a Sony product since... Uh, well, at least a gaming product since a uh, PS2, which I've still got. Um, so, yeah, again, I don't know what Microsoft are doing. They just don't. They do, they, do, they just don't know what they're doing anymore. They just ugh, they just roll over and people just expect people to just buy the products anyway, which is please stupid. I mean, people who like Xbox like the, the, the Xbox One, which aren't many people. Fair enough, go and buy it. But people who don't like it are just going to, well simple as, they're not going to buy it and and also the other uh, burning contention is the fact that um, the Xbox One is going to be, was it in the US, it's going to be a hundred dollars more than the PS4 and in the UK over here it's going to be 80 pounds less so it's a bit of a difference which is a bit disappointing but nothing I'm going to kind of, kind of cry over. Like I said, I don't know, I honestly don't know what the reasoning is behind all this kind of DRM stuff and the fact that you have to have internet connection. Honestly, that I absolutely loved the uh, Sony press conference. They're ba they're ba they honestly, basically, I mean, because usually they can't kind of like, you know, um, kind of mention Microsoft and the Xbox One. But they were, they were, they were totally just taking the piss out of them, basically. They were using exactly the same words that Microsoft said they were going to do and said they're not, uh, the PS4 is not going to do this. And uh, everyone cheered, which if I was there, I would have cheered as well. That's <laughs> great. And for, also, for some stupid reason, they're also bringing out a an even slimmer version of the Xbox 360, which is kind of um, which kind of looks more like uh, the th Xbox One. And I'll get on to, uh, to the look of it. Uh, when I first saw the Xbox One, I absolutely hated it. It honestly looks like it was, design it was designed by a blind man from the 90s. It looks like a VHS player. It looks like a piece of shit. It really does. It, on it literally looks like a piece of shit. It's round. It's, well, it's kind of, I think it's completely black. It just doesn't look right. And when the um, PS4 was announced uh, the other day, um, I was kind of umming and ahhing about it for quite a while. I still don't quite know what I make of it, to be quite honest. But, um... I mean, it looks better than the Xbox One, but that's not saying much because the Xbox One looks like, looks like a piece of shit. But I say it's more kind of they've gone for the they've gone for the kind of kind of the console that could kind of fit anywhere. It's kind of small. I don't know if it is smaller than the Xbox One, but it's kind of it's more it's kind of with the Xbox One it's kind of like more rounded, but with the PS4 it's more kind of more. I don't know what, what, what the word is, more kind of lines, I guess, more, what's the word, um, you're more kind of square, I guess, square and blocky, which I, which I kind of like, it's kind of, it's basically a box with kind of like two, you know, like two slants on it, like that, that's like a box there, and then like two slants, and a box, then the, you know, the lines there, which I think, which, thinking about it more, I mean, it doesn't look too much better than the Xbox One, but it does look better than, better than that, so I'm sick of saying, sick of saying Xbox One now. <laughs> said that a lot more than I've said PS4. PS4, 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 PS4. There we go. That's uh, that's uh, tip the scales a bit. So, all in all, to recap, uh, Xbox uh, Xbox One, piece of shit, don't buy it. Well, you, uh, I mean, I'm not going to sway your opinion, to be quite honest. If you don't... I mean, Xbox One, basically, you can't... Well, I don't know exa exactly the whole kind of kind of details behind it but basically you have to establish an online connection every 20 what at least once every 24 hours which is a bit different before people were saying that it has to be online all the time but with this you have to have it on uh, have it online at least once a at least once every 24 hours uh, you can't again I don't know all the details you, you can't lend games to your friends and they and there be able to play it on their console, I do believe. I'm not quite sure on the details again. 
again, this DRM thing, I'm not, I don't even know what it stands for, to be quite honest, so I can't really um, kind of comment on it, really, if I don't know all the facts. Basically, Xbox One, just dead in the water already. Basically, PS, PS, Sony and PS4 have won the console war. Well, not that it was a war anyway, because Xbox One was dead in the water already. Basically, PS4 is much better. Uh, it's got, well, I would say better games, but it's got better, well, graphics from what I can see. From, you know, from the, the game demos and stuff. Or the, uh, you know, the, the floor shows and stuff. Uh, so, PS4 is twice as good as... Uh, Xbox One, again I'm sick of saying that and uh, basically Xbox, uh, Microsoft are dead and they don't know what they're doing anymore that Will Forte looking guy looks I don't was it, Don Matrick or whatever He uh, he's putting a brave face on it but they, they know they're gone they know they're just, they're dead I mean the price point alone I mean for people who are kind of umming and eyeing which one to buy uh, obviously you're going to buy, go for the cheapest one aren't you really Unless you like, unless you like dead against Sony or dead against Microsoft, you're gonna buy, you're gonna, you're gonna buy the cheapest one. To be quite honest, and I don't think there's many, there's like loads and loads of kind of exclusive games for each console. I don't think that there will be as much as there are now for 360 on the PS3, but I'm not quite sure on that. So, like I say, to wrap up, Xbox One dead in the water, PS4 definitely the one to go for. Is so that's it for my thoughts on the. I think I'll call this video um, Xbox One versus PS4, my thoughts, or something like that. But uh, as I said, Microsoft are done. Sony are kind of, they're flying high basically. I do believe that, I think Xbox One is coming out in November and the uh, PS4 just um, kind of holiday 2012, uh, 2013, so it's probably kind of Christmas time. I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to start saving up for PS4 already. I don't know whether I'll, like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be in my job for, so I don't know kind of if I should pre-order it or not, but I'm going to, gonna, you know, stave off it for a little bit before I can uh, do it. Anyway, so there's still kind of games um, kind of in this generation that are still coming out, like GTA V and all that. Well, I think that's about it, really. <laughs> I think I'm going to come in more Halo games, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm definitely going for a PS4. Uh, what are your thoughts? If you're a big, if you're a gamer, what are your thoughts on the whole th uh, Xbox One versus? Well, it's basically Microsoft versus Sony, to be quite honest. So if you have any thoughts on it, pop it in the uh, comment box. I'd love, to, I'd really love, love to hear your thoughts. I've watched a few uh, people's videos on this topic, and they've been really kind of different opinions. Like, you know, like some people prefer the Xbox One, some people prefer the PS4. But I've rambled on for far too long already. This might already be a too long a video. So please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.